Welcome back to Living 757. My next two guests are part of a brewing company that needs no introduction, but I will give you one anyways. In 2018, they opened their production facility and restaurant here in Virginia. To tell their story, let's welcome Tommy and Richard from New Rome Brewing Company. Guys, welcome to the show. Hey, how are you guys doing? Hello, good morning. I'm excited. <laughs> This is the last show of the year 2020, and we're so excited to have you today. Uh, but first of all, just uh, tell us a little bit about the New Rome Brewing Company. So obviously, we opened up here in 2018 as a production facility. Um, about a uh, back March of last year, we actually opened up the restaurant. Uh, Richard, our executive chef here, came on in December of 18 to help get our menu up and running. Um, kind of start bringing some of the local flair of what we would like to see on Virginia Beach to kind of a, a fun upscale brewery atmosphere. Um, so we opened the restaurant up in April of 2019 and we've been up and running ever since then. And uh, we've been very uh, pleased and happy with, with the turnout and, and the food has just been incredible going along with great beer. Great. Now, kind of like everyone, COVID-19 has made businesses have to pivot in order to operate safely. Um, what kind of adjustments did you guys make or what did you come up with in order to keep going? So I'll share a little bit with you kind of what we're doing on our side. And I definitely want to turn over to Richard to, to talk a little bit about our food program. But uh, really, we had to pivot and change the way we kind of think of things at this point. Uh, we decided to kind of really ramp up the to-go and delivery program at the beginning of all this. Uh, we wanted to find a way to still connect with the people that weren't able to come in. So we set up uh, a delivery service. So we started delivering food and beer to guests. Uh, the big thing we also thought about was doing maybe weekly specials or doing the family style meal. Uh, but we really needed to change the way to think about something different. But uh, I'll let Richard talk a little bit about some of the food program and uh, some of the family meals that we've been doing uh, for the past nine months or so. So you want to talk about what we have today, Richard? Absolutely. Yes. So today we have um, the carnitas, uh, slow cooked pork carnitas are what are on our menu for today. We're just doing a little play on uh, Taco Tuesdays. So we usually have some sort of taco or enchilada um, on Tuesdays. Uh, for the rest of the week, we have a um, slow uh, brine pork uh, um, Reuben, build your own Reuben. So we've had the brisket and the um, pure for about a week now. And then we will cook it for a uh, slow cook it for a night and then come out, slice it and have it all built ready for you to put together. All of these meals are just made for a family of four, basically to take them home, heat them up and just be able to have as good a food as we have in, in the restaurant. Um, oh my God, so Richard, I need to ask you something. Can you show me that play that you have absolutely. in front of you? Is that the tacos carnitas? Oh my God. It is a beautiful, beautiful, lovely, and I'm hungry. It's lunchtime. I'm ready to have one. <laughs> and I'm asking purely for selfish reasons. How far is your delivery area, specifically Chesapeake? Because that's where I live. <laughs> what we do, we decided, honestly, we're only doing five miles. We, we take a lot of pride in our food and our quality. Um, we're a scratch kitchen here, so that's super important to us to deliver the freshest quality of food. So... Uh, we're dealing within a five mile radius. We actually also do delivery sometimes for uh, to-go beer. Uh, we do offer kegs for sale here. So that's been a big help for us with kegs, crawlers, growlers. Um, we've really, our, our to-go beer has really ramped up this year due to the fact of that, uh, of us trying to uh, maintain, you know, the business and help out with, uh, with making it a little bit easier for the guests to cut, you know, if they don't feel comfortable coming in, that they can just pick something up and they can walk out and, uh, and feel comfortable with that. Amazing. Well, thank you guys so much for joining us today. We're really Thanks excited so about much. it. Yes. Thank you guys. Thank you.